Hello friends. So in this session we'll talk about synonym feature in SQL Server. So yeah, uh, this feature got released uh, in SQL Server 2005 and the main purpose of uh, this feature is to create abstraction layer on top of the objects and that object can be in the same schema or 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 the different database and uh, you can have uh, uh, your database in the same server or on remote server so yeah so without qualifying the name each time uh, you, you can create the alias on top of that and and, and uh, you can use the same alias wherever you're needed so yeah thrust, it's, it's a slightly different from the view because uh, we create view on top of the queries not uh, on the object because before to the synonyms we used to uh, whenever we you know uh, whenever we required to uh, pull the data from the different source we used to uh, enter the full qualified name in the view itself but after 2005 release uh, synonyms release I mean uh, uh, it helps you to create uh, alias name and use that alias name instead of uh, writing it full qualified qualified uh, you know query each time so yeah uh, synonyms can be very useful and it can be created for or alias can be created for tables views store proc functions and table functions inline functions and uh, yeah the filter procedures and st extended uh, stored procedures so the main benefits uh, on uh, Synonym says to it's it's give you the flexibility to change the location of objects. Uh, let's say uh, put it in the this way. Uh, let's say uh, you are working on an environment uh, that database is uh, on the UAT, and uh, for some time uh, you need to debug or you want to just uh, push that. Uh, uh, source point to a uh, different database so you can just go and just change the alias you know in the full qualified uh, name into that and everything will work as is because you are pointing the alias not the actual object and CI it helps in the migration because most of the time when we move uh, our code from UAT to uh, prod or any in the environment the uh, we face lots of challenges to changing in the code based upon the environment and environment so this is something that helps in the testing debugging and analysis purpose limitations so uh, or benefit I would say the first is uh, synonyms are loosely bound so uh, let's say you have a synonyms on top of the object and you are using the synonyms everywhere in your store proc or in your query or in your program so if you want to change in that synonym uh, the reference object will not stop you to deattach first and then go and edit so it's a loosely bound you can change it because because SQL server uh, realized this uh, uh, on runtime so it's a loosely bound. <coughs> you cannot use synonyms uh, inside another synonyms. So this is basically the chaining is not allowed. Obviously, consume possible object names. You cannot create tables with if you have uh, if you have the same name synonyms in your database. The object, yeah. So. Synonyms is being created. Uh, it checked at runtime. So if you uh, working on or designing or editing, it won't stop you to do that. And uh, synonyms can be referenced in the DDL statements, as I said. So let's quickly jump on demo. So I have a database here, and uh, I want to create a synonym. And I have a one server and server instance or we have multiple database i want to create a one synonym so on uh, here so, so database and synonym section 
and uh, let's say uh, for let's uh, consider a scenario where we have a customer database here or we have a customer database here and everything is basically uh, 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 so all data are same let's say this is 2015 database this is 2016 it's gonna be 2016 database and uh, you want database for each year so uh, in that scenario or maybe it's a product sign or it's a UAT or whatever it is and for the testing purpose you want to test on some this database and after uh, this time frame you want to use this database so this kind of scenario that you can use uh, 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 if you want to use the synonyms that will help so let me synonyms so you just click and you will find a uh, right button uh, click the right button mouse right button and you'll see the new synonym option so here yeah. so this is the name the alias name that you need let's say customers scheme dbo server name uh, this is basically the, the full qualified section for which we are entering an input database which database i want to point out let's say jalkal and the uh, schema is again dbo and uh, the type we want to create alias for which is table the object type is table and uh, customer uh, uh, let's say customer details this is uh, what we have entered so permission definitely you can set it but uh, in this demo I'll just focus on how we can create and leverage synonyms so here you go so we have customers so uh, like you can use any query you can use customers okay so here you go sorry database uh, yeah, online shop so here you see uh, we have a data which is coming from this database for the synonym is in uh, here in this database now I want to change uh, you know, uh, this uh, uh, LLS to point out uh, this database customer uh, table. So what I would do is, it's not allow uh, so was not allowing us to you know modify it once created. So I'll first drop. Synonym customer, or before uh, deleting it, what I can do is let's scrape a task copy. So, here you go. So, uh, here you go. So, you can, uh, you can delete it, drop it first and let's say i want to point now on this database meds s o l u t i yeah moon solution and inside it uh, we have a table like uh, users so users yes, so we just updated the synonyms customer synonyms and now if you go and check this it will give you a different record so i have simply so you can just reference customers wherever you need it and uh, in the back end side you can redirect um, which table you want to attach with this alias thank you hope you enjoyed this session Leave your feedback so that I can just improve next time.